three charges minus q plus q and minus q are placed at the corners of an equilateral triangle of side A, the resultant electric force on a charge plus q placed at the centroid of the triangle is. Now as per the question, they said it is an equilateral triangle. So first of all, let us take an equilateral triangle. Here all sides are equal. The said side length is the A. At the three corners, they put minus Q and plus Q and a minus Q charges. And apart from that, they place a plus Q charge at the centroid O. Now they are asking, what is the resultant force? on the charge plus Q placed at the centroid and here we know very well from center to the corner from center to the all corners the distance that is A by root 3 so let us write that is OA is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to we take a by root 3 but in the magnitude the forces are equal so let us take first from Coulomb's inverse square law f is equal to expression for the force 1 by epsilon naught into q 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into q1 q2 by r square this is the standard formula but if you take f1 which is equal to f2 is equal to f3 that equal to so let us take it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 into q2 that is q into q q square by a by root 3 whole square which is equal to let us write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 3 into q square by this is a square but a resultant of f1 and f2 now in the given case, so consider this is the F1 force, this is centroid, this is an F2 force. Now F1 and F2 and here this is F3. So consider F3 is equal to F. F1, F2 they are making an angle 120 degree. Consider their resultant that is the F4. F4 is equal to let us take 2F cos theta by 2. 2F this is cos 120 by 2. 2F cos 60 which is equal to 1 by 2 and F. So F4 is also F. Finally F3, F4 they are in the same direction on equal magnitude taking the net force which is equal to 2F 2 into so F value we know this is the 1 by 4 by epsilon naught 3A square by that is the 3Q square by A square and finally now we are getting 2 and 4 cancel thereby this is F net is equal to 3q square by 2 pi epsilon naught a square this is the resultant force and fourth option is the right option